Hi. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Blender 2.8 is still in alpha, but we keep getting features pretty much daily. This week has been a new template for sculpting, new workspaces, for layout, and uh, all kinds of things. But there was this one feature that was added like 10 minutes ago that is so small yet big at the same time that I wanted to show it. So unit system in Blender in 2.7, the, it was a bit limited, so you could choose the length, and then in the length you could choose metric or imperial or none. So um, by default it was none, so you would see Blender units, we call it, but just like numbers, just random arbitrary numbers. So uh, if you choose metric, then you will see like meters, and the issue was that when, um, when it wasn't specified, if Blender will get like the magnitude that was closer, so centimeters, kilometers, or anything that it was, it would fit that number. So if you had a thousand, it would be one kilometer. So it was very confusing because then when you're transforming it, it will just change and yeah, not ideal. Not anymore. Enter, uh, no, not, uh, uh, enter awesome unit system in 2.8. The default in Blender 2.8 is now metric. So it's no longer Blender units. It's about, it's a, like the same number, but now at least you have something for reference. And the great thing is that now it's not just the length that it shows in, in metric or imperial, but it's actually the, like the unit system that you can choose. Same options. Then you have the rotation, which was uh, available before, radians or degrees. And then you can change for the length, mass, and time specific um, settings. So for the length, by default, is meters, just like it was before. But you can also set it for centimeters, for example. Now you would see that the interface is showing always centimeters, regardless of a hundred, like here, <laughs> it's supposed to be one kilometer, but here is a hundred thousand centimeters. Look at all the things you're learning now, thanks to this new met <laughs> this new system. So this works also for, of course, for Imperial. So if you have, um, if you use adaptive, it will be just like it was before. So that that's the one thing. If you want to keep the same behavior as before, you can just choose adaptive or you can set it to, all the fits that you want. So look at this, 3,000 feet. I don't, I, I'm not really good at, <laughs> at this system. But okay, me, uh, metric or imperial, they were going to work the same. You, uh, you can specify one unit and it will be used all over the place. So pretty neat. In even including the settings here in the edge, for example, the area it will show um, whatever unit you have set. So very, very handy. Amazing. This feature has been asked for since like forever. It's, if you go to right click select and sort by rating, I think it's number, yeah, it's in the top 10. So yeah, now we should have a way to have the like check. This was added uh, like around yeah, 10 minutes ago by Chuck's Luke. He's the creator of animation notes. He's very popular add-on and is working now full-time here at the Blender Animation Studio. So great news. And he's porting a bunch of Blender add-ons, official Blender add-ons from 2.7 to 2.8. He's uh, helping to bring 2.8 to the beta. And in the future, not so long from now, it's gonna work on everything Node. So everything Nodes. So pretty exciting times ahead. Great feature, you can read if you want to see more about the discussion, you, there is a, um, the, the diff it went for review, there is feedback from people and you can see how the features evolve here. And also you can see how much attention it got in right click select. So it's a pretty nice community effort and awesome, of course, thanks to Jax. And thanks to everyone for tuning in here. And thanks, he's here, by the way, thanks to the Blender Development Fund and the Blender Cloud. So if you wanna help, bringing more developers on board. You can join the Blender Development Fund or the Blender Cloud if you want to get access to assets and open movies and everything, as always. So yes, there's so many features here, right? Blender 2.8 looks so different right now as uh, since the last video I made. I will continue making videos, but I just wanted to make this one, this quick one, because it's so awesome. All right, I hope to see you again in the next uh, <laughs> video. Ciao.